Hey, do you know when they'll open Payson Canyon? Is it this weekend? Oh, okay. Have a good day. Skitty Fishing here, and today I am at the one and only Payson Lakes. And there's already a couple people here. It's Memorial Weekend, and uh, the lake is at capacity, baby. So um, we're, we're going to be float tubing this today with our uh, Nirvana Moksha 5 weight. Um, I suspect that rainbows are the primary fish to catch today, but there are some brook trout in here, and that's what I'm really hoping for. So we're going to start off with some intermediate line and get on the flow tube. So uh, I might be a little bit quiet today just because uh, it's really quiet up here and there's already a few anglers. So I just don't want to be the annoying YouTube guy, but, um, but yeah, well, we're gonna get on the water and we'll just kind of, we'll just kind of uh, cover it as we go. So uh, full disclosure, it costs $15 to park here. That's kind of astronomical and crazy if you ask me, but I only fish here typically once a year. So I consider it my, uh, my payment to the community. Let's say that. So anyway, let's see what we can catch. Sound off the alarm. All right. Water's not too bad. This is far from the coldest water I've fished this year so far. Between strawberry and boulder, but water levels are perfect today. It's a very full reservoir where before the pandemic, you'd come up here on Memorial Weekend and this lake would still be near empty. I mean, look, there's a freaking, there's a freaking picnic table submerged right here. All right, first fish on, on a streamer, actually tied by Ethan Adams. Ethan, this is the pink woolly bugger. Feels like a rainbow. Wow, it's a bigger fish. Or it's just the 5X tippet. There's a rainbow. Heck yeah. Oh, I already got another one. Holy shit. <laughs> oh. There we go. Let's go. <laughs> yes. I actually just let my fly sit in the water and he, he took that. That's awesome. Let's fly is just a smidge heavy for the five weight but not by much but those these bows are fighting aggressive right now gotcha yeah dude <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, brook trout, brook trout, brook trout. Yes. Yes. Nice, 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 nice. All right, guys. Well, got the first brookie of the year and he slammed a streamer. So, heck yeah. We got fish rising everywhere. So, this is going to be a pretty fast action day, I can already tell. There we go. Let's go back the other way now. Gotcha. What is that? Could it be another rookie? I don't know. Oh, rainbow. Beautiful rainbow, though. Look at that. These fish are healthy in here. Look at that. Nice, nice, nice. Some healthy quality fish in here. There we go. Mark it up, dude. We're like four fish in 30 minutes or less. Oh. take no doubt punch punch gotcha oh holy crap <laughs> Ooh. yeah it's a rainbow no doubt Brookies don't jump like that, at least. <laughs> He's working that 5X, though. <laughs> Damn! Alright, well, that's a net catch, I think. Man, they're working that. Working that 5x tidbit for sure. Ain't no doubt about that. It's the biggest one today, though. Here we go. Jesus, dude. Gotcha, gotcha. How did I know? What are you? Little rainbow. As soon as you slow down, I'm gonna get this out of you. There you go. Man, more deer. There we go. 
it's a uh, brook trout. <laughs> a little brook trout. Heck yeah. This is the first place I caught a brook trout too. There he goes. All right, guys. Well, obviously it was pretty productive. Even got into a few extra brook trout there at the end, which is awesome because really that's the only reason why I come up to Payson Lakes at this point. I mean, with how many rainbow trout are down there in the valley immediately before the canyon, Salem Pond, Spring Lake, it's not like Payson Lakes is really like a big destination spot for Skiddy, but um, I grew up fishing here, so this is an important place for me. But yeah, so anytime we get into brook trout, man, that's just, that's like exactly uh, what I'm looking for for, for, uh, for fulfillment. Sorry, that's a tongue twister, but um, anyway. Um, there was a few people showing up. It's actually pretty fairly calm for Memorial Weekend right now. It's about 9 o'clock in the morning. But after smacking about maybe, I don't know, 10 plus, I figured I'd come down here to this lower lake. I don't think I've ever fished this lower lake. I don't even know if there's a winter kill. The guy at the gate can't even tell me if if people have been catching fish here. Obviously, it's the first big weekend of the year anyway, so that's kind of when this place opens. So, uh... We'll keep an eye for risers. That's really what I'm hoping to see just for like, uh, I don't know, just reassurance. But as of right now, this is very sandy right off the bat. So I'm wondering if there's more structure on the back end here. So we'll give that a try. Uh, I haven't really had too many reasons to believe that this streamer isn't working. <coughs> it gets more cloudy and stuff though. I do think a practical change would be putting a darker leech on. Gotcha. What are you? What are you? What are you? What are you? You're a rainbow trout. Nice. Oh, wow. Look at this, though. Look how pretty that fish is, dude. Yeah, I know, I know. There we go. All right, all right, all right. You're free. Let's see if I can just like dangle this fly in. Oh, gotcha. No. <laughs> okay. Gotcha. Yep, 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 yep. Are you a brookie? I think you're a brookie. Are you a brookie? Are you a brookie? Are you a brookie? Yeah, you're a, oh, uh, no, you're a rainbow. Still though, that was freaking sweet. Heck yeah. Heck yeah, dude. Heck yeah, dude. <laughs> I love it. Leech, bro, leech. Look at that fish, dude. Oh, that is gorgeous. It could be like a... Actually, I don't think it's wild, but... All right, rainbow.
I don't think that's gonna work. Oh, yes it is. Yes it is, yes it is, yes it is. <laughs> Just a little guy. Oh. Question is, what are you? Are you a little, you are a brook trout. There are brook trout in here. Yes. I knew it. I had a feeling that one that I lost in those logs was a brookie. Yes, dude. Yes. I don't even care if it's little rookies. I've got to get these guys. Heck yeah, bro. Awesome. Okay, my hands were wet that entire time. Freaking dope, bro. Gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah, dude. Is that a brookie? Is that a brookie? It's a brookie! <laughs> yes, dude! Yes, look at that! Oh, score! All right, well. There he goes, dude. Yes! Oh, that is so fulfilling, dude. Not only did I just get another brook trout, but I think I'm ballpark like four or five into the day. I mean, there's definitely a bigger mixture of, you know, bows to brook trout, but man, I just, I just love that I was able to accomplish that today. Well guys, this will conclude this episode of Skitty Fishing. And right now I am standing in Box Lake. I don't think I've ever even fished here before, if I'm being honest with you. So I couldn't tell you if there are fish here. Let's say this, we fished today before the crowd got here. Uh, quite a few cars started showing up right around the 11 o'clock hour, but even now it's still not that bad. I don't know if it's just like a Sunday thing or what. We've got the Nirvana Moksha rod. So I've talked about this rod a few times in recent videos and um, honestly, this is like the epitome of, of where my Western rods are going right now. It is such a fun, fun rod. Um, it gets better and better every time I use it. I've got it paired with some Cortland, um, intermediate line, and this is the Lampson liquid reel, the ones with the, uh, interchangeable spools, the three pack. So, uh, fish were biting on quite a few things today, mostly streamers. So the first lake, Lake McClellan. Um, if I said that right, I got most of them on a pink and white woolly bugger, courtesy of um, uh, Ethan Adams Outdoors or Ma Mountain Life Outdoors. So uh, dude's a stud, great fly fisherman, great fly tire. So thank you, Ethan, for that. Um, and then leeches really after the, you know, kind of got overcast a little bit. So I started throwing some leeches in there um, at the other lake and that kind of worked for me as well. Even got a few on a zebra midge, which was also tied by uh, Sean from Nevada. So thank you, Sean. You know who you are. I'll give you a uh, personal message when I get home to show you the success. But I mean, mostly rainbows. That's pretty much what's up here. But uh, anytime I come up to Payson Lakes, I always hope for brook trout. And to get like four or five today, man, I am so pumped about that. I mean, even though they're not big, first ones of the year, plenty more to come. But uh, beautiful out here, guys. Uh, it's just the final week of May. It's Memorial Weekend. As you can see, there's hardly any snow. There's a little bit of patches on certain banks, just where the sun doesn't really get to it very much. Uh, but aside from that, man, it's been, uh, it's beautiful up here. It's not very cold. And uh, really the only snow that's left is really in the very, very high altitudes right behind me here. So uh, let me know if you guys have any questions. And uh, yeah, let's, we're just gonna keep on going. Hopefully the creeks are simmering down here in the next week or so. We're going to really start pumping out some Tinkara content. But in the meantime, it's been really fun to do some Western style fishing. So anyway, I appreciate you guys for watching this channel and the, and the subs. Share with your friends and we'll see you guys on the next adventure. Tie lines, everyone.